So, uh, Thursday morning, we are riding on the highest route in Sweden called the Flat Route or something similar to that. It's uh, reasonably cold, 7 degrees right now, and the temp in, uh, at the place we stayed um, said uh, 5 degrees, so I guess that's pretty accurate. We found a, a pretty cool place called, I uh, ah, mean, I am so bad at names. It was um, a hostel of some sort, but there was nobody there except us. So we had it all to ourselves. Um, got a good price. She was, uh, the owner was willing to bargain a little bit. So that was good. We uh, got uh, three single rooms, so a bit of privacy, which is nice. Now we are continuing uh, north. Weather forecast looks uh, pretty good. We might get a shower here and there, but uh, generally dry. I think. Oh, look at this open spaces. So, what is our altitude? Let me just check that. Almost 900 meters, according to the GPS. I don't know how accurate that is, but it's good enough for me. Wow! How cool is this? So this is where I Overlander suggested us to camp. It would have been very very cold that's for sure but oh my god what a fantastic view. What an absolutely incredible place. If this was, I don't know, it would have been so cold if this was, I don't know, 10 degrees warmer it would be a fantastic spot to camp. But we would not be alone that's for sure. And to be honest, I don't know where you would go to take a dump and get some privacy. I really, really like this. This is... I oh mean, I'm getting emotional here, I'm sorry. Five degrees. And a little bit chilly. But it's a fantastic air. It's so fresh. Coming directly in from Norway. So guys, this is a flat route. This is worth a... a actually, um, this entire... Ever since we uh, rode into... Uh, well, uh, we came across... You know, we, we rode along Ish, the, the Norwegian border. And obviously, Norway is a spectacular country and you don't want to miss that. But if you've been there already and, and you want to see something different and you don't mind going off-road, well, when I mean off-road, it's it's literally hard-packed gravel like this. It's almost like concrete. I'd say that really any bike can ride this. It can be a little bit bumpy sometimes, and I'm, I mean, if, if it's wet, I, I don't know how slippery it gets. Um, but but it's uh, yeah, it's it's really really nice. It's a nice uh, route, and I can definitely recommend you. It's just. It's just such a comfortable ride. It's it's gravel like this. I mean, I mean, uh, it's 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 for everybody. Obviously, the uh, the, the loose stuff makes your bike wobble a little bit, and that's where you want to stand up and let it wobble. When I say that all bikes can ride this, I I, I really don't know, but you can just slow down. So this is uh, August uh, 27th, and it is a bit cold. So you do want to. Pack some warm clothes for sure, and I haven't found uh, a lot of. We didn't find a lot of campsites here, so so either you wild camp or you get one of those. Uh, you can stay at those uh, hostels, and we paid ended up paying 300 Swedish crowns for a single room, and you have to have cash, or if you are Swedish, you can swish as well. 
Swish is just really a way of paying over the phone. Um, but I guess you have to have a Swedish bank account for to set that up. But cash is king, that always works. So they don't accept credit card. We just came off um, a paved road. We rode that after um, flat route. We rode that for about I don't know. Well, I actually do know 30 kilometers. I knew it was getting a little bit boring, and I know that Michael appreciates that a lot on his uh, TKC80. I don't know how they. Um, how long they'll last even on hard, hard gravel like this. It's a little bit cold standing up in the wind. Seeing a little bit more, yeah, we are seeing a little bit more oncoming traffic on this uh, gravel road. But it's also uh, rather big. It's quite windy here. This morning when uh, I woke up and got out, I to pack the bike. It was so quiet. It was cold. Four degrees. But it didn't feel like it because it was so quiet. No wind at all. Alrighty, I am getting um, in the need for a break. Something to eat, and I also need to uh, clean the bike. Look how dirty he is. That is not good. It turned out we hit a little more gravel. That's a nice change. The roads can be uh, a little bit boring, to be honest. Look at that. That is so nice. Pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. That is so beautiful. What a fantastic road. I did not expect that. I actually thought that most of the day would be gravel. Sorry, uh, paved road. And here we are. here at um, what we believe is a uh, waterfall that is uh, worth seeing and uh, we hope we don't have to walk too far now here it doesn't really say does it we can hear it la, la! again no but it's only about uh, 22 centimeters we need to walk it's about 22 centimeters <laughs>
All right. So the individual you see in front, that's uh, Mr. Michael. Mr. Michael, what can you tell us about this uh, place? Uh, we expect to see some trees and possibly some uh, water. And if I continue walking backwards, uh, I might fall over. But, oh, uh, just keep left. Keep, keep left. Left a bit more. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you not. <laughs> it's good. He's a man of few words. Yes. <laughs> Anything in particular you want to say to the rest of the world, Mr. Kurt Kubik? It has been a lovely trip so far. It has. Oh, we can hear the waterfall. That's a big waterfall. So Michael wants to go to the border. There's no way. Just to take a picture. Så so, tror jeg teknisk set, at vi er i Norge nu. Nej. Jo. Vi skal spinde os tilbage. Nå, vi er i Norge. Ja, det var Norge. Ja, det var Norge. All right, so uh, this is the uh, get the, the camping, get the, the camping, and we have uh, a little house with shower, toilet for seven hundred Swedish crowns, which is quite nice. What's the name of the campsite, Michael? Yes, you are in the hill. Near lake. It's called... Uh, Somewhere in Sweden. I think it's pronounced Yetere or something like that. Yetere. Well, you live in Sweden, so yes. what can we do? G is pronounced like a S. Some J or a Y if you... Yetere. Yetere camping. And we have this nice uh, house with shower and... Uh, Toilet and uh, two, four beds, two bunk beds. Um, yeah, so that's pretty okay. So now we're just taking a walk. Fantastic day to have cup coffee. This is a nice road. Sixty five North. Welcome to Gutkwe. Gutkwe. There are a lot of houses here. Wow! This is awesome. Whoa! That's a nice view from here. So let's, uh, while we wait for uh, Kurt Kubik to get some, uh, he was cold, so he. Uh, Pulled over and uh, get some more warm clothes. Um, we are going to uh, another waterfall. Eine Wasserfalle, ne? Um, it is close by. We can hear it from here. Either it's close or it's extremely big. It's probably just close. It's a small hundred meter hike. But that's nice, get some warm. Okay. So we uh, just uh, got some lunch at a little village called uh, Deaconess, I think. A little cafe. And 
and uh, went to a very very small grocery store to get some supplies because I don't know if there's any camping uh, facilities or anything like that um, where we're heading and uh, we wanted to be prepared for wild camping so we got stuck up on a fuel sorry not fuel food the sky is clearing a little bit it's still uh, well it's 11 degrees straight gravel road so we have arrived at a place called uh, Algeplog Algeplog something like that we're here to find the gas station because we're going uh, on a detour that most likely do not have any, any sort of uh, gas station so there's a shell that's what we're looking for <coughs> excuse me Look at that. 12 watten for Sherlock's killer. Mr. Brink. I just need to fix it. Pretty nice, isn't it? And now I have been here too. 